Hello comrades, so today we're going to learn how to use multiple scripts on multiple objects. Also we're going to learn how to use singletons and what the hell it is. So, let's see what we have. We have three scripts created. First is game manager, second is first object and third one is second object. And we have three corresponding game objects created. And on game manager we have game manager script, on first object we have first object script and on second object we have second object script. And we have some values here assigned for object one and object two on game manager, which is just as you can see first and second object. So you, I just dragged it here and here. And in first object, I dragged the second object like this. All right, so that's all setups that you need. We don't really, uh, we are not going to see anything in the scene. We are going to learn how to use different parts in code. So let's see what we have here. We have game manager. That's a very common script that you use when you actually start developing with Unity. And later on, when you have small projects, it's not very useful when you have big S projects, but with small ones, it's amazing. And we have the thing instance, which is a variable of type game manager. So the same type as this script, this script is game manager and we have a variable of type game manager inside it called instance. And the main thing that's different here, it's static. What static means is basically that if it's public, of course, that it's accessible from anywhere. And the way you access it, you can see here in second object, you do game manager dot instance. So name of the class dot name of the variable which is static of this type and you actually can call print something which is this function here and the second important part here is that in awake we assign instance to this this means this specific game object so for example i have game manager here and once it runs, it calls awake on itself. Well, one of you here calls awake. And what happens, this instance gets set to this, which is exactly this component, because we could technically have a game manager here and it will assign itself also. But the main thing that you need to know is that for singletons, you have to have only one instance of them in your game. Otherwise, things get messy and confusing and they won't work. Here you don't have any means of protection. Here is some commented example of how you can basically enforce uh, that there is only one instance of something. So basically, you can check if instance is already set and if it is, then you destroy the game object that tries to set it again. And if not, you just set it for the first time. But uh, honestly, in many cases, I don't use this full implementation of a singleton. Just because if I work alone on my project, I know that if something has instance, it's a singleton. And just in my head, I know that I will have only one game manager. I will have only out one audio manager. And... The simplest implementation of a single build will be like this. So this whole selected part just makes you a singleton. And you can use it to access data from wherever you need. Uh, singletons are usually hated by a lot of developers because they're used as global variables that basically is hard to trace because if you have 100 classes and they all need something from singleton, things get messy. Also, it's harder to test. It's harder to do a lot of stuff with singleton, so don't overuse them. Make sure that you think how you are gonna use them. Like, for example, you need a controller for your audio, and most likely you will have only one of them in your game, and everyone will basically try to deal with audio through this controller then it might be a good idea to use it as a singleton. 
or map creator like you'll there will be only one map creator that will create different maps based on whatever uh, other Chris passed to it you probably also can do it as a singleton but you can't do let's say uh, a player in a multiplayer game as a singleton because there will be multiple players and you can have only one instance of this stuff I also wouldn't do a player itself as a singleton I would probably have some kind of game manager and reference a players here so I can access my player through the game manager and let's see what I have else here I have a reference to first object and to the second object and a function print something which prints the word something so that's more or less all about game manager script uh, let's just go through it really quickly again if you want to create a singleton the thing that will allow you to get references to the things that you need from anywhere in the code and these things will be existing in your game only as one thing so you will never have a second instance of it there will never be two game managers then you can use a singleton to do that you create a static variable of the same type of the class as the class you're creating it in so game manager will be type game manager and you code for example instance you can actually use any different any name you want but that's a standard to use instant or to use singleton as a name and then in awake you have to set up this instance with this which will basically take this exact copy of the game manager and assign it to the static variable instance all right so the way we use different scripts will be shown now here in this first and second object. So what we have here is private variable second object inside the first object class. And what we do in start, we print the name of the second object from the first object. So we got a reference. We got this reference by dragging manually here, like this, the second object. So we have the reference to exactly this object. And we take this object and print its name. Also, what we have here is print first object thingy. That's a function that will print first object thingy text why we need it just to demonstrate what you can do through the singletons so remember in first object we just use the direct reference that we had inside the object to second object and printed its name you can do this stuff through the singleton remember we have both of our objects referenced and also tracked in scene so we manually did reference them like this We have the boss in game manager, which is a singleton. And what we did here, we can access our singleton in our second object and print something. So from the second object, we just printed something. Then what we did next, we printed the name of the object one, which we got from the singleton. So we accessed game manager, we access its instance. So we access, uh, access this and then we access object one on it this one which is the first object and then we took its name and we printed the name of the first object another thing that you can do you can access this print first object thingy through the singleton from the second object so we do game manager dot instance that's how you access again the singleton and we use object one from it which is a variable here of first object 
and we call the function which exists on the first object and is public. If it would be private or protected, we won't be able to call it. Yep, that's basically it. So we have three scripts working all together. They are on the different objects. You can reference them manually by just dragging the scripts. Uh, you can see that here I dragged the object, but because the second object field in our script is of type second object, not game object. When we drag second object to it, what it does, it searches for second object component on it and assigns this exact component to this field. If it won't have like camera, you see, it won't be possible to assign to second object because it doesn't have second object component. But if we drag second object component to our camera, now we can do it. All right, I will remove it from here. Actually, I will remove also game manager because it shouldn't be here. All right, so let's see what it will do when we run it. So it printed something. Then first object, first object thingy, and then second object. So let's see. First it printed something. Here. Then name of first object. Then the thingy. And then name of the second object. Alright. That's basically it. If you have any questions, just ask in comments, I will be glad to answer them. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I will make more videos on different important topics. Remember that single turns are not liked by many developers, especially the ones from enterprise and business fields. Uh, they just think that it's pure evil. Uh, I don't think so. And I would recommend you not to argue with these people because it's usually pointless. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy.